We got a treat in North Georgia in 2017 when a total eclipse crossed part of our state. Thousands enjoyed this spectacle along with us in Rabin County as the sky darkened in the middle of the day. This is amazing. Oh my gosh. If you're hoping to experience the same thing again this year, it won't be quite that dark, but it is worth seeing. Every eclipse is a phenomenal event, whether it's one of totality or you only see a partial experience. And so students who were um, in school in 2017 are potentially adults now, and so their experience would be different through a different lens. The big event will be on April 8th. The solar eclipse occurs when the moon crosses between the Earth and sun, and it completely covers our view of the sun. The path of totality begins around lunchtime in Texas. It stretches from Texas northeastward through the Midwest up to Illinois, Indiana, and continuing northeast until it exits the U.S. in northern Maine. Here in Georgia, we're not in that path of totality, so it's a partial eclipse for us. A yeah, partial eclipse is spectacular to watch. They don't happen a lot, Chris. They, uh, total eclipses are extremely rare. So this is the last total eclipse over the United States for 21 years. So 2045 is the next time a total eclipse is going to pass over mainland USA. This is how it's going to look in Metro Atlanta and North Georgia on April 8th. Hopefully we'll have a good view of the sun without any clouds around. Beginning at 145 in the afternoon, that's when the moon will begin to block out part of the sun beginning in the bottom right hand corner. It'll continue moving over the sun and at maximum eclipse, it'll be covering between 80 to 85% of it, leaving just a little bit of sliver there of the sun on the left hand side. Then the moon will keep moving away and the eclipse will be over by 421 in the afternoon. You need protection for your eyes. These are a thousand times darker than regular sunglasses. They need to be approved. Um, eclipse viewers, get a lawn chair and just enjoy it from your backyard. If you are searching for eclipse glasses online, beware of the fake ones. Make sure the ones you buy have the ISO logo on them. If the partial eclipse isn't enough for you and you want to travel to the path of totality, the shortest drive is 382 miles from Atlanta to Paducah, Kentucky. It'll take you roughly five hours and 47 minutes to get there.